I'm David Friday, an English Literature Lecturer at uh, Clarendon Sixth Form. If you're interested in studying English Literature, I'll give you a bit of an overview of the course. There's four units of assessment. Um, the exam board we use is EDUCAS. Um, there's three examination papers and one piece of coursework, which is an independent piece of study where you get a bit more freedom into what you want to research into. The three papers that you study, you do a, a poetry paper, a drama paper, and an unseen paper which tests your skills on unseen prose and unseen poetry, a little bit like you would do so at GCSE. Um, the assessment objectives that you look at are very similar to what you would potentially do at um, GCSE, um, albeit they're in a lot more depth. Um, AO3, the contextual information, is in a lot more depth in terms of historical context, cultural context, and also AO5, other interpretations, is in a lot more detail. We'll look at critical readings, applying those and developing an argument. So a lot of the work at A level is enhancing your skills and developing an argument. Why can you come up with that particular point of view? What has a critic said about that particular point of view? Can you give a feminist reading of a particular point of view? And applying that. So you're building on a lot of the skills that you've already got at GCSE, you're just doing it in a lot more depth. In terms of the textual study, uh, for paper one poetry, you'll do Christina Rossetti, which is Victorian poetry, and then you'll do a comparison of two more modern poets, um, Caroline Duffy and Philip Larkin. On your drama paper, you will do the obligatory Shakespeare, so we'll study Hamlet and for the comparison essay, which is the second part of it, you do a comparison between The Duchess of Malfi, which is an old, older play, similar contemporary to Shakespeare really, but also a more modern one with Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire. So that's your two main papers on the core text that you study. The third paper is on unseen prose and unseen poetry. You will, on unseen prose, you will analyse a piece of prose that you've not seen before from a particular period of time and use the skills that you've learnt when analysing in lessons in that exam. And poetry is similar, although it's not given a particular age group, you're just given a particular poem or a choice of two, and you need to analyse that those poems, well, one of those poems, based on the skills that you've already learned. And as mentioned briefly before, assessment four is coursework. Um, now that isn't in an examination, that is something you do. You start to think about at the end of the first year, and you do in the second year, and there's more flexibility in terms of the topic you choose with that. But that's a pro study, so it's basically two books, one pre-2000 and one post-2000 publishing date based on a chosen area of study to, to be agreed with your tutor, basically. And that's it in a nutshell. Um, I would say that generally students of English literature are quite naturally curious and open-minded. Literature uh, touches on a number of different aspects. It links quite nicely with history, it links quite nicely with classics. Um, it also has a political um, implication to it, if you like. You need to think about all these different things that were going on in a particular point of time in order for you to analyse a text in enough detail, because all these strands interlink. And the kind of more naturally curious you are, and more interested and more widely read you are, then the better you are to approach the subjects and the better you are to meet all the criteria you need to be a success. So in terms of how it works, an extracurricular um, activity we do. Last, last year we went to a production of Hamlet at the Lowry Theatre. We also went on a visit to the British Library. Um, the sessions are very hands-on. It's much different than English at GCSE because the class sizes are much smaller. You'd be in a maximum class of 15. Um, you'll be in, engaged in a bit more debating sessions, but also you'll get a lot more tutor support. So one of the things people like about Clarendon is kind of smaller class sizes, but also that kind of rapport between your, your, your tutor and yourself, really. So you can get some feedback. You can be pointed in the right direction in order for you to develop further. So English literature is quite a traditional um, A-level to study, and it's still very well respected. So there are the traditional routes. You can go and study law. You can go on to study literature. You can go on to do you know, language or something English-based. Um, we have a number of people who go on to study journalism um, or, or some of the other humanities. But also, because it's quite a traditional A-level and well-regarded, you can also take it if you want to study medicine, for example. And we had one student last year who 
um, did very well in English literature and went on to do veterinary science. So it's still seen in high regard. So you can either kind of do something very sort of traditional based and English based, whether it's teaching or going into journalism or the media, or you can do something a little bit, you know, you can still apply for different courses like medicine and veterinary science. But the most important thing is that you kind of, you're naturally curious, you're interested in books, that you're a, you're a big reader really, because you are expected to read more widely and, and just kind of enjoy sort of engaging in the different aspects of literature that the course has to offer. So if you've got a passion for reading and all these other different aspects of culture combined with literature, please get in touch with us via the website.